Hey, Coastal Community Church, Pastor Drew here. Uh, as we continue through this new season of COVID-19, each day of the week, um, different members of our staff are going to be putting together content to hopefully allow us to connect with one another, even though we can't gather together in person. On Mondays, I hope you were able to see it yesterday, Tracy's going to be putting out a video series called Spoiler Alerts, and it's going to be um, everything from kind of where we're headed next week in the sermon to specific announcements for the church moving forward, just kind of giving us a look toward the week ahead of us. On Tuesdays, I'm going to be taking some time to put together some content and some videos to help encourage and equip and resource you to continue being disciple makers in your homes, whether you're at work, whether you're working from home, whether your kids are home with you, uh, if you're a student and you're at home because schools are shut down, wherever your season of life may be and what it may look like right now, um, if you are a follower of Jesus and have a relationship with Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, then you have the call on your life to be a disciple maker, someone who shares the gospel with those who don't know Christ. And then hopefully after we see God shift their heart and, and bring them out of death and into life in him, then we get the opportunity to walk alongside young believers as they mature in their walk with God. Now, this is not just the role for pastors. This is not just the role of Sunday school teachers or community group leaders. Every follower of Jesus has this call placed on our life in the Great Commission, which is Matthew 28. It says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and teaching them to obey all that I have commanded. And listen to this promise at the end. Jesus says, and surely I will be with you always to the end of the age. Church, the God that we love, that we serve, is with us and among us during this time. Instead of stepping back and kind of taking our foot off the gas, so to speak, more than ever, this is a moment where we as Christians need to walk in intentionality in how we do the two things that God calls us to do above all else. To love the Lord our God with all of our heart and all of our soul and all of our strength and all of our mind and to love our neighbor as ourselves. And the best way that we can do that is to share the hope of the gospel with people and to be there for them in their time of need. Now, we want to honor what our leaders and our government have said because God has called us to do that, so we're not going to gather together on Sunday mornings. We're not going to gather together with community groups, but that doesn't mean that we can't be there for one another and for those around us. So if you're a community group leader during this time, I want to encourage you, press in, lean into this moment, use the technology that God's given to us. It's kind of this common grace in our life that we get to really Put to amazing use right now, whether it's through things like Zoom or Google Hangouts or it's FaceTiming or it's getting on the phone and just calling somebody, take the list of the people in your community group and walk in intentionality with those people in relationship. Call them, check on them. No, don't just check on them physically. Check on their heart. Check on their walk with the Lord. Ask questions. How's your time in the Word been? What's your prayer life look like? How are you handling the struggles that maybe have kind of come up through this time, whether in regard to sin or in regard to just frustration and worry and fear? Parents, this is an incredible time that the Lord has given you for your kids to be in your home and for you to continually be a disciple maker in their life. So take this moment, take this time, and look for opportunities to really invest in the spiritual health of your children, not just their education, not just um, are they maintaining a consistent rhythm. All of that is amazing and good. But ultimately, God has given you this time as parents to press in and to be the primary discipler in your kids' lives. Take time right now. If you um, are working from home but you're connecting on video or on email with coworkers, take time to really press in and, and use that as, an, as a platform to share the gospel with people. If you're a student, maybe you're back home from, from college or maybe you're a high school or middle school student and, and you feel like you're stuck at home in this bubble, I want to encourage you, see this as an opportunity for, that God has given you to really encourage your friends, encourage people with the hope and truth of the gospel. Our world right now, maybe more than ever in my lifetime that I can remember, is in desperate 
need of the hope of the gospel. In our community groups, um, we have been walking through this book called Multiply. And the whole point of the book is that the purpose of the church is not to be a building. It's not to gather together. It's to be a place where disciples gather together to encourage one another to walk out their calling as disciple makers. Church, we cannot gather physically together right now, but we can maintain unity and relationship with one another. It's just gonna take some intentionality. So I wanna challenge you. I don't care whether you're a high school student or you're a senior adult in our congregation. Think of two people this week, two people in your life that maybe either don't know Jesus or aren't walking with him regularly, not only pray for them, but I want to encourage you to reach out to them. Text them, call them, FaceTime them, however you feel comfortable. Email them. Share the hope of the gospel with them. Ask them how they're doing. Ask if you can pray for them. Be the church. We are the gathered and sent. And right now, God has gathered us in our homes as families, and he is still sending us out as disciple makers. He's just doing it in a different way. We're not able to go out and gather in groups, but we are able to go out through technology. So utilize it. I know it can be awkward. I know it can be hard. I want to encourage you to try and press in to this moment. Throughout history, church, the people of God have always encountered various trials and struggles. But James 1, 2 through 4 tells us to consider these trials that we encounter as pure joy because the testing of our faithfulness produces within the heart of a believer an endurance that allows us to lack for nothing when it comes to walking out the call God has made on our life. So I'm praying for y'all. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. We will connect you either with somebody who can help or a community group. If you're feeling isolated or lonely, reach out. The church body is there for you. We love you. We want to hear from you. We want to hear how you're doing. Go on the website. Put in prayer requests. Underneath the resource tab, there's an opportunity for you to do that. There's an opportunity for you to put in a, a, a request to be connected to a community group of some kind. Stay connected with people even if we can't gather with people. So church, love you, praying for you, and I hope to be back together with you, worshiping with you soon. That's our prayer and our hope. In the meantime, trust that God doesn't just want you to survive in this moment, but he has equipped you through the Holy Spirit and through this beautiful word that we have to thrive in this moment and to see many people come to know Jesus as Lord and Savior, even in the midst of something like COVID-19. Talk to you later. Bye.